Hello there everyone, my name is Aimu Kagi, and there's a lot of suspicious activity going on in Toad's apartment. We're trying to figure it out. He's lying to us. We know that for sure, because we caught him in a lie because of the lamp. But what? I don't know. Let's look at the window. Scratch marks? What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, I... No, there's marks here on the window, so... What's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? I scared Junior off to death. I don't believe you. You heard uh, the new uh, Shaking Stevens album yet? <laughs> Changing topic. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I let the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? But you wouldn't need keys. So the lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Big B, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this, this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet, you say, to my face, that you think I'm hiding something from you? Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here, in my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. But I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? <gasps> Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, right? A Tweedle, Dama D. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman ate. Or thought he ate, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take a live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give a bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes. Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here will astonish you, mate. We're merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. 
fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Is it up in the fireplace? Donkey skin. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. Was a note. It's an envelope. Fucking hell. Of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? I need to open it. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try it down at the trip trap. <clears throat> Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know, someone who will know where to find him. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. When he put it that way. What else could go? Panic in the parlors. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I'm honestly I not sure. Early, but I just feel a step behind. I want to say D, but I think we it's need more information. Thing. Uh, Woodsman. The Woodsman. He had the motive. He had the means. You sound so sure that he's guilty. I don't know if he is. That's why I need to talk to him. I don't have the whole story. Maybe he has some information that can help us out. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. I don't want to just instantly accuse him. Really? <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Yep, that's how I talk to women. Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... Prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now... I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. We'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a 
broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. It's not because you want to turn you now away. Things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. <laughs> I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, that'd be best. <clears throat> I don't want you getting hurt. Yeah. Maybe I should. Big B. I um, just be careful, please. You got it. All right, now let's go investigate the woodsman. Since we just entered a new setting, I think it's a good place to stop this episode. Thank you for watching. Let me know if there uh, you'd make the same decisions I would. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Share it around. And as always, have a fantastic night.